Hey, hey guys, how's it going? Jackadunga here, and I'm here to present the second CWL invite matchup for Buy Forever against Spartans Legacy, and unfortunately it was a loss 1-1-1 to 1-1-3, with Spartans Legacy just pulling ahead on the 10v10 front with two extra 10v10s. Both sides coming out strong though on the 9v9 and 10v11 game, which will be shown with our initial replay as King Jelly here is going to go for an interesting dragon attack. Queen Walk here on their number one. Um, as he starts off with a few balloons on that mortar in the south uh, to help with a bit of funneling and is going to lure the clan castle with a hog. Uh, Arch goes down to lure the um, clan castle a bit further back and once the wizard is down the queen will, oh, in fact it won't be the queen, it will be a baby dragon and so we're going to speed up this part as the baby dragon gnaws through that lava hound and it will finally explode but the baby dragon with its splash damage won't, um, will take out a few of those pups uh, but the queen will be placed to clear the rest of the pups and she's going to start her walk in the south going anti-clockwise towards that first air defense in the west. So I did like this attack really just because of the use of interesting composition. Not to mention the fact that this is going to be a very high percentage uh, two star on their number one. Um, with uh, the queen taking out the trash buildings and a few of the key defences along the outside of this base. Earthquake does go down with most 10v11 attacks. There is usually or quite often an earthquake going into that core of the base to really uh, damage those uh, defences in the middle a little for the kill squad. As uh, a Valk and Bowlers for Funnel do go down uh, to take out the Mortar and Elixir Storage, Wallbreaker goes down and as you can see uh, the King and Queen are going to go towards uh, Enemy Queen and um, and that air defence. Uh, the Queen and King will go for a bit of a wonder but the King will rejoin and the Queen will actually go on the outside which is actually just going to help the King direct um, him into the Enemy Queen and along this western part of the base uh, taking out both heroes with the help of a poison and rage um, nicely the healers have um, helped with this mini kill squad with the bowlers and the king still alive and will take out these final air defenses there is six dra dragons for the core of this base with a rage and freeze uh, to clear this inferno tower and expo compartment and as you can see the uh, the town hall is going to go down very quickly with these dragons locked on the town hall and as you can see it's still only 64 percent um taken down with lots of dragons up and the queen up and the bowlers up so the only thing which is actually going to stop this from being a higher percentage is actually going to be time as you know that queen walks do are quite time consuming and it is not probably king jelly didn't think it was going to go this well um as it he does clinch another uh, four percent to take up this raid to a nice 74 percent so well done king jelly on this attack now we will go down to the 10v10s and as you can see a few 10s are still left on the board uh, which was the reason for Spartan's Legacy's win but I would like to add that By Forever did have a brilliant wall with their Town Hall Nines really doing a good job and uh, 10v10 decepts there were lots of them and there were uh, six, five or six 3 stars on, um, on their side so I am going to show you a few of those now with uh, J James going here on the Ryan um, for this 10v10 triple as he starts off with a bit of funneling and the king and uh, a few Valks are going to go into this uh, com middle compartment with the arch queen to take her out as this will be a Lalo raid. As you can see queen cleverly positions to take out this air defense along the western side of the base. Um, Lava Hand and Balloon come out of the clan castle uh, but it's not going to be a problem as the Queen will die shortly and Lalo can't target air troops. So the first two Lava Hounds will go down onto this first air defence as the balloons are scattered along the northern part of the base to take out these initial defences with a few extra balloons going towards that Inferno Tower in the east corner as the Lava Hounds go, do go towards that third air defence in the core of the base. Rage placed down and as you can see the balloons are going to go straight towards their Inferno Tower destroyed and uh, Haste will help with this final air defence and only the Inferno to worry about now really but this is going to be taken care of with this um, free spell which is nicely placed 
and there's only an arch tower and expo left which uh, target air so as you can see this isn't going to be a problem for the rest of these balloons as they take out that final air defense balloons running a little thin but he does have plenty of cleanup for these final uh, buildings lava hounds and balloons still up uh, but the archer has lured them out of range of the um, minions and lava pups who are helping with the cleanup and 53 seconds left so plenty of time uh, for the minions to clear up uh, the final um, buildings as I speed up the replay so nice job to James with that 10v10 triple so we'll go down onto the next 10v10 triple which will be number 18 and it will be TL again uh, with another 10v10 triple in an important war as he starts off uh, with his bitch attack um, slightly different comp with this one a few giants he's taking with him to go towards that mortar for a bit of tanking for his bowlers and witches on the outside of this space column placed down and his main kill squad of bowlers are and witches are coming down and the king and queen will be placed down as well uh, so nice start to this raid as you can see nice funnel as usual uh, really nice to uh, help uh, take his um, bowlers into the core of the base uh, with the uh, Inferno Tower going down shortly. Nice two jumps there to uh, make sure that his kill squad is going to chomp through as much of the core of the base as possible. And as you can see, the bowlers are doing lots of work already in the core of the base. And as you can see, the uh, there's still many bowlers left up and this is already looking like it's going very well indeed. <laughs> Only a few Archer Towers left and a few cannons. Um, uh, with the queen in hand and as you can see the court is going to um, wear slightly thin but he does have two witches and uh, that queen with her ability still left and of course there are still those bowlers and witches along the outside of the base uh, which will take out those peripheral defenses as you can see he's done this very quickly and with the queen's ability use he has only got one defense left which will be that cannon and will be taken out very very soon uh, so nice job to TL there for another triple so we will move on to the next 10v10 as the skeletons clear up these final uh, uh, not defenses final buildings with the gold storage going down right now and I think we are moving on to the 9v9s and we are going to start off with Joseph Stylin uh, going for a queen charge here on number 21 as he starts off with a baby dragon um, actually this won't be a queen charge this will be a queen walk but will take out the heroes and the clan castle with his queen and the healers um, props to uh, Joseph Stylin actually as I was alerted his defense did hold four times which is great um, and obviously did cause Spartan's legacy a bit of problems and this triple did uh, also make sure that he did have a great war here with the poison going down as his as the enemy heroes do go down shortly queen does take down the king with the help of a rage spell as the king is a beefy unit and does need that rage to help her with it um, the lava hound is going to come out the CC but this isn't going to be a problem but will take a little bit of time with the help of an enraged wizard here as a hog does go down um, on the left hand side not really sure what that was for actually uh, maybe to test probably to test traps um, maybe a bomb there double a giant bomb there or a spring trap nice to test it out but obviously there's nothing there this must have been a fresh hit so nicely done to him uh king and uh king just king will take out a few of these uh, that mortar actually uh in order to help with this parthing um as the as you can see he's created a very nice runway for his hogs and cc hogs to absolutely crush this base with the help of some heal spells as uh, the, <laughs> the massive amount of hogs do come down towards this bomb tower and wizard tower compartment and as you can see with <laughs> what only remains is a tesla farm and there's about 20 hogs so this is a hog parade success uh the tesla farm won't be a problem as um a about 15 of his hogs do uh, go towards that mortar uh, but with only three teslas up and the help of a, a poison spell to clear those um, pesky skeletons uh, this base is well and truly crushed so well done to joseph stalin here as he will secure the cleanup with 20 seconds to go very nicely done 
and as the Queen's ability is swagged, uh, we will move on to the next 9v9 attempt, and this will be J Jason the Great with Stormborn again, um, having a nice war here, and this will be a, a Lalo uh, with the King, King qu with the Queen kill and the Clan Castle kill uh, with the suicide oh actually not it's going to be suicide heroes it is going to be a uh, king queen from a slightly different approach actually oh yes i do remember this this was um slightly um I will, not what i would have approached with this base so this was nicely done here as the king and queen will take out this tesla farm which has popped up in the corner um as you can see this is a um, anti-air base uh, so the king and queen are going to uh, take out uh, these air targeting a lot of this air targeting troops in the um, west, uh, eastern part of this base with the queen shortly going down now. But probably the reason for this attack was that he did know that in the clan castle there was nothing which could destroy his Lalo portion of the raid as his uh, clan castle lava hound and another lava hound do go down uh, towards that first air defense. He does have that skeleton spell um, in hand which will help take out the queen shortly as uh, the second lava hand does go down but as you can see uh, the queen will go down with that skeleton spell skeleton spell doing great work in, under that rage spell heal does go down here and as you can see uh, the balloons do actually not survive in that heal so he has practically swagged a heal on this raid um, as you can see the heal is not doing much over there so I thought this was nicely done uh, because of that uh, what we will call a swagged heal just for the purpose of this video um, and a few hastes will go down here to clear these final uh, defenses but as you can see uh, this is GG uh, only a wizard tower Tesla and Arch Tower left up and plenty of balloons in the bag with uh, his minions and pups going around the edge of this base and two balloons in hand so this is a going to be a nice three star so nicely done Bourne. Now we will move on to the next 9v9 uh, lots of triples here to choose from this week so I'm happy about that and we will go on to good night uh, Merriman going here with a bit of a in interesting base actually here um, I did like think this base was quite strange these um peripheral walls which you see um, are making a bit of a rise especially at uh, Town Hall 11 because it does make it extra tricky to funnel that kill squad especially at Town Hall 11 into the base but obviously those walls are to protect that King, Queen and Clan Castle as a Queen walk does go down uh, taking out a few of these buildings uh, the Queen will go down into uh, will be um, channeled into those air, that air defence compartment along the south of the base and as the queen chomps through these uh, final buildings towards the hero's compartment, a giant will be placed to do a bit of tanking um, for his um, wall breakers, which will go down right now as another giant does go down. Um, hopefully he will, be, yes, he will be putting his wall breakers down right now. So I thought this was a nice uh, wall breaker break here, a uh, bit of skill here. And as you can see, the queen is going to be a bit weird. I don't know why she decides to target that wizard tower instead of the air defense or any of the other things. But as you can see, um, it is going to help actually with the queen taking down that um, air defense as the king and bowlers actually are going to... Um, go in the north of the base uh, really just to take out a few of these buildings and help the king walk towards that air defense compartment king doing a significant amount of tanking for those boulders as the queen does take is going to shortly take out the enemy queen and the air defense so this is quite a complex town hall nine raid but as you can see very effective lots of um really really well executed from merriman here as that final uh, the second air defense goes down as he starts his lalo portion of the raid um as you can see uh, six uh, four balloons going down here and straight into that air defense compartment uh, not many bombs here so all the bombs have already been triggered so not going to be a problem but as you can see because of the amount of work he's done with his king queen and bowlers and the funnel for the queen walk it's not going to be much of a problem here because there's only two wizard towers two expos and a few peripheral teslas on the outside so really really nicely done here i did like this attack this will get town hall 9 attack of the week just because of the complexity and the real need for great execution on this base so i really did enjoy this nicely done merriman so when we wrap up this raid with uh, lots of cleanup for these final hit point storages we are going to go to our next 9v9 
which will be if I look at my notes number tw uh, number 30 in fact 35 and it's going to be God here then our number 40 going in uh, with a witch slap uh, Oh, I've forgotten who actually reminded me of the name, but thank you to that person. Can't remember who it was. Sorry that I didn't drop you a shout out, but he, I was told it was a witch slap. Actually, in fact, this is going to be this isn't going to be a witch slap because there are no um, healers on those um, five uh, witches which usually go on the peripheral of this base. This is just going to be a normal witch raid. Maybe this is called a witch slap as well. Hmm. Yeah, I should really do my research here. Maybe this is called a witch slap as well. I'm not sure the, if there is a difference between the healer, five healer witch attacks or the spread out witches. But as you can see, either way, he's going to do a great job for the funnel, for his kill squad, king, queen and bowlers, as usual, for these sorts of witch attacks going in. But as you can see, um, the, the bowlers were placed slightly differently. Uh, wrongly and as you can see the bowlers are going to walk the queen is going to rejoin the kill squad uh, but the bowlers are actually going to walk along this outside but as you can see this is actually going to be quite helpful because in the core there are a few storages and, and not many defenses but as you can see on the outside of the base that's where more of the defenses lie uh, this is quite a uh, strange base and looks like well looks like it would be quite an effective base if it wasn't for uh, great attackers attacking it um, but as you can see the bowlers are doing a great job with the help of that golem to tank for these outside buildings and as you can see they have done a significant amount of work with the help of those witches uh, so I did like this attack very nicely done um, and as you can see there's only a few wizard towers left so this is going to be GG and this is going to be a three star um, only if the king and the queen and the bowlers and the witches lots lots of things still up as that final witch does go down to that cannon but as you can see two witches do manage to somehow get themselves trapped behind the main kill squad and those final wizard towers along the east do go down and only a few buildings left and he's definitely going to have enough cleanup so nice job to gods there Now we will go to our final attack, which I believe is going to be their number 40, if I can remember. Yep, it's going to be number 40, and it's going to be Hotard here. Um, going with, uh, to end, of course, it's going to be a Baby Dragon raid, a raid. We haven't seen much Baby Dragon action, and of course I'd like to get any sort of Baby Dragon attack involved. As he does start off, actually, if I remember rightly, Hotard did actually, I think, got two three stars with Baby Dragon attacks, but I did choose his best one, which happened to be this one with the uh, two golems going in for a bit of tanking for these wizards as the wall breakers go do go down to break open this compartment with the two air defenses so this is nicely chosen really because of the close proximity of the air defenses and the queen uh, this base is a bit anti-air but the baby dragons this is really going to be taken advantage of with the baby dragons uh, and as you can see he has done a really nice funnel here his queen golems, bowlers and king all going into the core of the base to make sure that all those air defenses and queen do go down. Uh, nice jump there and as you can see the kill squad isn't going to do, is going to do so much work it's not going to be much problem for his baby dragons to clear the rest of this base. Uh, got plenty in the bag, starts with three along this western part of the base and a few teslas do pop up here but as you can see the king and bowlers and queen still left up not going to be a problem taking out these final defenses and there's only going to be a few arch towers and t all the teslas left up remaining but for baby dragons it's not going to be much of a problem due to their high hit points and their enraged abilities um with the queen helping with the uh, main pack of bowlers and golem uh, to take out these final defenses so i did enjoy this raid nice job to hotard as he does clean up with these remaining baby dragons this will signal the end of the video with this final tack. I hope you did enjoy. I'm fortunate about the loss, but I hope they do uh, bounce back next week. And of course, I will have a recap for that war. So if you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.